when I start with the blind image, I, I, it's because uh, I feel at a certain point a little bit tired of that uh, amount of image they can every day. So I start to erase images. And that kind of erasing uh, led me to uh, a work of Rochenberg. It's well-known work. It's a uh, razor decoding uh, drawing. So if I pick that work and I reproduce that work by typographic uh, methods, I've the, um, I, I go directly to the bone of the, of the interior of one work. So I go the further possible to that uh, direction. So this is the start point of the blind image, when I realize that uh, when we er erased something, uh, there's another uh, things coming over the, the surface. So in that sense, you're willing to give quite a bit over to the viewer in terms of their relationship and their interpretation. Yes, because, well, if, if I mention Brigitte Bardot, it doesn't matter what, what in image is, is related with uh, her. So I look at the memory of the viewer. I search that, search that memory of the viewer. And it can, it, with that, it can rebuild the image. So it's not necessary to put the image there. We, uh, we have plenty of image inside the, our head. It doesn't matter what particular image of Bardot. It's that image, it's your image, the, the important image for me. So it's kind of a, a special work doing, special for the viewer.